Season 8, Episode 12, The Walking Dead, The Key. Wow, okay, so that episode was pretty pretty crazy. Um, we got introduced to a new group, which I thought was very interesting. I There's no way it's the Commonwealth already. If it is, I'd be pretty surprised, but yeah, I... I don't really know what to make of that group. I, I, it's probably going to take me a little bit to kind of... I, I might need to dig deeper into some of the scenes with them to try and get a better read on them. But as of right now, I don't really have much on them. But I thought it was very interesting how skeptical uh, Maggie and Enid were. But then they eventually, you know, came to... came to be okay with it. But... I'm trying to think. I remember that actress from somewhere. But the the act the main actress of that new group, I think her name was Georgie. But yeah, I don't know. Let's let's talk about the rest of the episode though. Wow. Okay, so the Dwight and uh the Dwight and Simon scenes were very interesting and I really like those. The dynamic between those two is very interesting because we saw Simon trying to level with Dwight, and in the process, he kind of revealed the way that he truly feels about Negan and the way that things are run right now, and Dwight was kind of surprised by it. I don't think he really realized how Simon didn't really like Negan as much. Maybe I'm wrong, but at the end there, I mean, the, the little subtle things with the way that Simon was saying, oh, you know, maybe we should just you know, start over, you know, get rid of these groups, not worry about it, find some more groups. And then at the end, when he kind of took over for them, that was very, very interesting. What was even more interesting to me is that he didn't tell them that Negan was dead. I thought he was just going to straight up tell him that he was dead. But for him, that was a smart decision not to tell them that. Because if he did and he came back, ooh, that'd be bad for them. Or it'd be bad for him. <laughs> but Negan now knows what he did to the scavengers, which is not good for Simon. Again, because if Negan gets back there, he is probably going to kill him. But the fact that Negan ended up with Jadis, that blew my mind. I was not expecting that at all. But holy shit, that's that was pretty crazy. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of mad at Rick though. Like he wasted all of his ammo just like trying to shoot through the car. Like come on, Rick, just just pressure the car, you know, away for him to come out. He'd have to leave the car eventually, and you could have shot whatever. But um. I mean, I've said it personally before. I don't really want Negan dead right now. Like, I want Rick and him to come to an understanding, move forward. A lot of people are like, I just want him dead right now. He needs to die right now. And other people are like, I never want him dead. I want Rick dead, though. And then, so, I mean, the fandom's all over the place with the way they feel about Negan. But JDM and Andrew Lincoln did amazing tonight. Oh, my God. The I love the little, like, one-on-one... -on -one fights that they're having but oh man there's gonna there's only gonna be one more of those i think and it's gonna be the finale and all of us who know the comics are pretty sure we know how that's gonna go but yeah i i don't really know man this this episode was good i like this episode though it went by so fast. Like, wow. <laughs> um, 
but I'm trying to think of what else. A lot of the stuff that Rick was saying to Negan, kind of, it, it, it almost did make me feel... <clears throat> the stuff that Rick was saying to Negan, if I was an outside... If I was viewing it from the outside, didn't know anything about the show or anything like that, I would almost assume that Negan was not the bad guy based on the things that have happened because obviously Negan didn't know that all of the scavengers were killed he um like you could tell by the look on his face that whatever Rick was saying he didn't know and that was gen that was news to him but the comment about that Rick made about oh eventually you would came across someone like me or whatever it was that really kind of makes him sound like a villain and i've heard a lot of people say that if we were following negan this whole time after seasons like by the end of season six we would be all for the lineup like if we had been following negan and his group since season one we would have not had a problem with what he did to rick's group because of the way that rick came for the saviors without even knowing them really since they like took out an entire outpost in their sleep which i think is still one of the darker episodes of the series and for our group but yeah i don't, I don't know i don't know where this is gonna go but the episode next Sunday, I am sensing a lot of death. And not necessarily all saviors either. I feel like we're going to lose some people from Hilltop and Kingdom and Alexandria, and I'm not happy about it. But, yeah. Um, as of right now, I don't have a ton else to say about this episode. Oh my gosh, that that conversation that Daryl and Rick had, that is the Daryl I want to see. I don't want to see, you know, the just badass giving zero fucks Daryl, going off killing innocent people like the, whatever, Morales and that kid savior that was talking to Rick and was like, hey, I gave you this information. Can I go now? And Daryl's like, nah, bam, just shot. I know he didn't actually say anything. He just shot him in the head, but that wasn't, that, was, that wasn't cool. And then not going going against Rick's plan and going to the sanctuary, doing all that reckless shit. I don't like that kind of Daryl. I also don't like the Daryl that's just completely emotionally closed off. And, like, the, the place he was mentally and emotionally back in Season 5 when he went off on his own and burned his hand with a cigarette to see if he still felt anything... Oh my god, I'm watching Talking Dead simultaneously, and in, in the memoriam, Negan's whip is in there. <laughs> That's, I thought that was kind of funny, but, okay. Um, where was, what was I talking about? Oh my god. Um. I totally lost my train of thought. regardless um yeah so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to get to editing this try and get this up as soon as i can let me know what you guys thought about this episode in the comments how do you th what do you think jadis is gonna do with R or not rick what do you think jadis is gonna do with negan and who do you think this new group is and do you think we can trust them i'm very interested to find out who do you guys think is going to die next week? I'm really hoping they don't do what they always do and be like, oh, the Phantoms attached themselves to a new character that was supposed to be background, but everyone kind of really related to and liked, like Jerry and Shiva. I swear to God, if you, mm, if you kill Jerry or Tobin, I'm not going to be happy. Or even Cal. I'm not going to be happy. Oh my god. The preview for next week too. 
Henry put down the stick and picked up a gun. I'm sensing that he might go in the middle of the night into the pen of saviors or to the pen of saviors and like try executing some of them which just i don't know i don't know what they're doing with him but i know that they're the storyline with him is going to be crazy and i they just can't get through an episode without mentioning carl man it hurts man it hurts but let me know if you guys enjoyed this episode. I know I did. Again, let me know your thoughts and all that stuff in the comments. As always, this has been Jack from Group of Gamers Inc. 194, and I'm out. Peace. No! Found oh, oh my god. Oh god. Oh, there's so much going oh, on. Oh, oh, oh. God damn. Oh, Rick. Oh, my God. Oh. Why is Morgan fighting Jesus? Rick. Oh, my God. So much is going on. Oh. What is going on? Oh. oh, I swear if it's Sherry. <gasps> Jadis? What? Robert Kirkman, don't play me like that. <laughs>